Joining us live, former Special Forces Commando Heston Russell. Heston, uh, thanks for your time this morning. So we'll start off with your reaction to that judge's decision yesterday. Hey, good morning, Peter. Look, my reaction's always been that I'm disgusted that this is playing out in a court of defamation, which is the balance of probabilities, not beyond reasonable doubt. And I think that's the key message that's missing here. Ben has had to initiate these proceedings as defamation proceedings because there's no other recourse to challenge media who are, who are open to be able to say whatever they want about our service personnel from the unique circumstances of combat. Right, but wasn't it proven? There were witnesses who were present as well and then considered by a judge? Yeah, so Peter, it's proven uh, on the balance of probabilities, not beyond reasonable doubt. Very different between criminal proceedings and civil proceedings. As you'll note, Ben Robert Smith has not been charged or convicted as a war criminal. He has lost his defamation case against uh, the Nine News Corporation. Right. He brought the case on, though. So doesn't he have to wear the consequences? Yeah, Peter, he does. And that's what I'm saying. This is the only recourse that any veteran has to be able to challenge any allegations in the media because in this country, we do not afford the respect that these unique circumstances require to have them brought before a criminal court. And we have to play it out in a civil court. OK, but just going to the allegations, do you take issue with any of the allegations? From the start, Peter, I've been on your show for the last few years, mate. All of this needs to get out of civil proceedings and trial by media and into criminal court if there right. are significant accusations that are going to meet the threshold of okay. criminal court, mate. Right, but, but do you think that, they, that th those accusations meet the threshold of a criminal court? That's not my decision, OK? So from here, the Office of the Special Investigator, which has stood up for exactly this and the Australian Federal Police, have to go away and assess if this does meet that threshold for them to press charges mm. against Ben Robert Smith like they have done with another soldier already. Right, OK. Well, just going through a couple of the accusations here that, that, were, that were proven by the federal court. Don't need to go through all of them, but you get the point. Ben Robert Smith murdered an unarmed man by kicking him off a cliff and procuring soldiers under his command to shoot him. That Ben Robert Smith broke the moral and legal rules of military engagement, therefore a criminal, according to the judge. Committed murder by pressuring an inexperienced SAS trooper to execute an elderly unarmed Afghan to blood the rookie. I mean, doesn't all of this need to be examined in a federal court, which was done? Absolutely. It needs to be examined in a criminal court for war crimes, not in a civil court for defamation. Do you or understand the court. difference? But yeah, do you understand the difference between uh, defamation law and criminal law? No, I get, I get it. I get it. I get there is a difference between well, the civil court. Well, we are harboring on this point, and I also want to address one point that is being sensationalised at the moment. Ben received his Victoria Cross for a single act of uh, gallantry of bravery. It's not for his entire deployment over there. So removing sure. his Victoria Cross. Uh, should not be coming into question because the specific incident where he received that award was not even mentioned within these proceedings. Right, but do you take any of those points that I just referred to, do you take issue with any of those points? Yeah, they need to be passed on for uh, trial by proper prosecution for under criminal proceedings, ben, uh, yeah. um, Peter, if that's the case, 100%. Yeah. We are all for transparency in this, but what yeah. has happened at the moment is everyone's grabbing a defamation case and saying he's been found guilty of war crimes. Right, he's yeah. not charged or convicted of war crimes. But I mean, I mean, this is all taken to court though. I mean, I'm just, I'm just struggling to understand what you're suggesting because there were SAS soldiers who came to court to give evidence. Absolutely, Peter. And I just asked you before, mate, do you know the difference between the requirements of evidence or a defamation proceeding, which is on the balance of probabilities, as opposed to criminal proceedings, which is beyond reasonable doubt. OK. Uh, do you, do so you understand the difference? I, 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 yeah, I understand the difference. I don't need you to patronise me as well, by the way. Well, you're not seeming to get it in, mate, and I've said it a few times now. That is the difference between the two, and that is what is required from so, here. So there are people who suggest that he's a war criminal, is he? He has not been charged or convicted as a war criminal, mate. He's been found in a defamation court. Like, you, I get that you're after sensational reporting here. I'm not after sensational the reporting. These you are, are just these are claims that people call, are making. And they're more than entitled to make those claims, and those claims have been proven okay, so in defamation proceedings, a, mate. A judge has found Ben Robert Smith committed murder and war crimes. Is he wrong? A judge has found that there is truth or substantial truth the accusations that he has committed war crimes on the balance of probabilities in a defamation trial. The judge is absolutely correct because that's his judgment. Now, if Ben is going to be charged 
and potentially tried to be found guilty for war crimes, that is a completely separate process and that has not yet occurred. OK, you've got your own defamation case against the ABC at the moment. Does this hurt or hinder your confidence? My proceedings are completely separate to this and I look forward to that starting on the 28th of July. You would know that I can't comment on that, but I would really love to speak with you afterwards. Heston Russell, I, I, I certainly appreciate that they are completely different, but I'm just generalising here as, as to whether it, you know, if this might affect it or not from a confidence level is, is all I'm asking. There's nothing Absolutely more than not. that. I have 100% confidence in my case and I look forward to it. Heston Russell, appreciate your time. Talk to you.